so guys we are going to continue discussion with respect to mysql and in this video we are going to discuss about sql joins the different kind of joins that we are going to discuss about is like inner join left join right join full join natural join cross join and considering this i have also prepared some interview questions which you will be able to see it and probably at the end of this session you will be able to answer it okay now uh, from the next video i'm going to specifically pick up some interview questions that are very much important because i have actually finished till sql joins so let's now focus on solving interview questions also uh, but let me just finish off this joins and probably more interview questions will be coming up in the next session now what exactly is sql joins and how should we use it when should we use it you know sql joins actually help you to retrieve data from two or more database tables when i say two or more database tables it can be any number of database tables right one more important thing that you really need to understand is that this tables will be interlinked with primary keys foreign keys and many more and that is the way that we will be able to retrieve the specific data now let me show you one specific example over here and we'll try to solve all these things with the help of some tables okay let's say that i have uh, i have over here uh, i'm going to use my same database which i am probably using it from my all my previous session and then probably i will say select star from student i have my student table over here so let me just execute this here also you will be able to see that student table has some data like this where names like krish ram sam ankit is there with this student id okay similarly if i go and write select star from department i had also created one department table uh, in my previous session where i have two information one is student id and department name student id is the foreign key of the student table okay now one thing that i am actually going to do i am going to insert some records again over here so i'll say insert into student values okay and here i'm going to use some value like 5 probably i'll use over here as ramesh singh okay i'm just going to use over here and probably the person age is 27 i'll just execute it this has got successfully executed if i now go and see probably over here you'll be able to see five people are over here right but if i go and see in the department still you can see only one two three student id basically just three people have been linked to the departments okay now let's try to do some inner join okay now inner join actually helps you to retrieve the data suppose in this particular case i want to see that which all students have been linked to their own department name over here you can see from the student id one two three now who are having this one two three student id that is krish ram and sam ankit and ramesh have not still linked to the department now i want only those information from this particular two tables that has specifically their department allotted to them okay so for that particular case what i will do is that i will probably write my first join which is called as inner join now in inner join i am just going to say select star from okay select star from student okay and i can write inner join okay inner join the department table name sorry department table and then i have to basically give the condition on which column which column are very common to them and as you know in department student id is the foreign key student id is primary key in the student table so here i can definitely write like this student dot student student id is equal to okay i'm just going to write this in next statement so that you will be able to see on department dot student id so this is the matching thing that we really need to use because that is the primary key in student table and it is the foreign key in the department table so once i execute this now you will be able to get only those records that have their own department name allotted now here you can see one thing that student id and student id is getting repeated why because i have just selected star so let me just pick up only those specific columns so for here i can say student dot first underscore name which i specifically want okay then i will write student dot last underscore name okay so this information i have student dot first name last name 
I may also use student dot age. Okay. And probably I may use the department name. So for department, I may want to write department dot department underscore name. Right. Now, why you do you think that I'm writing student dot first name? Because I'm specifically saying that this particular record or this particular column is basically present in student table. Right. Similarly, over here, you can see department underscore name I have written. Okay. So this entire records I have written. Now let's go ahead and execute it here. Now it shows department dot department. Okay. Department. This is the syntax error. It happens. If you're getting syntax error, don't worry. Like first see the syntax. What the problem is. I've seen many people like when they face a problem directly come and say, Krish, I'm getting an error. Please check the errors. You will be able to get the answers. So now you can see I'm getting my first name, last name, age and department. Now this is what inner join does. Inner join makes sure that whichever table, whichever records has the matching value in the other records, only those will be picked. Now let's uh, go to the next join. In this next join, I'm going to basically discuss about left join. Now we also say it as left outer join, left join. Now in left join, you have seen already, right? In students, right? I have all these records, right? For Ankit and Ramesh, I did not... Like Ankit and Ramesh has not yet allotted to any department. But still I want the information of Ankit and Ramesh over there. In the right hand side, I don't care whether they have been allotted to a department or not. Over here, if it is they are not allotted, it should just give a null value. So here the focus is basically given on the left table. Now if I really want to write or try to try to retrieve the records in that specific way, it's a very simple change. I'll just copy this entire thing and probably paste it over here. Right? Instead of writing inner join, I will say left join. Now see, left, it is, when I say left join, it should give priority to the left table. In this particular case, the left table is student. Okay? So in student, all the records should be shown. And in the right hand side, if they are not mapped also, it should be shown as null value. Otherwise, they should have the values that is coming from the other table. So if I try to execute this, you will be able to see that now Ankit and Ramesh is also coming. Before Ankit and Ramesh were not coming in inner join, right? Because they did not had a matching record in the other table. But in this particular case, if I go and execute, I'm actually able to get all the values inside my left table. In the right hand table, if it is not matching, it is basically having a null value, right? So this was an example of left join. Similarly, in the case of right join, the next join that we are probably going to discuss is something called as right join. Now, here the focus will go on the right hand side of table. So, here what I am going to do, I am just going to copy this. Now, over here, I want to probably focus more on the right hand table and see from the right hand records which are matching in the left hand table itself, right? So, here instead of writing left, I will just write right. And based on the department match, it is just going to show me all the records, okay? So this is my difference between inner join, left join, right join. Now let's go to one more join. <clears throat> you may be thinking, Krish, let's consider all the records. I'm not worried whether it is from left table or right table. We need to give priority for both the table. In that particular case, we have something called as full outer join. Now for full outer join, you may be thinking, Krish, uh, can we do like this only? Can we copy this and probably write it over here and basically just say full outer join see that error is basically coming over here this way it will not work in my sql even though it is having this specific keyword what we can do is that for implementing the full outer join i will take the left join okay left join i'll remove this and i then i will take the right join right join entire statement i will i will just go and enter over here and in between this, I will try to combine them. So for combining, I will be using my union keyword. Right? So when I combine this union keyword, now what it is saying? Focus on the left join, focus on the right join. Combine both and there you get a full outer join. Now if I try to go ahead and execute it, here is your entire records. Obviously from the left hand, right hand side department name, I have not added more departments. You can definitely add it. Right? So based on that, you can actually do the full outer join. Now, this is the basic difference between inner join, left join, right join, 
all the joints are actually present let me just uh, uh, this was my uh, right join this was my left join I had removed this so I'm just going to paste it over here. perfect so till here we have definitely understood all the joints right because these are some of the important joints and just in minute to minute we have discussed everything over here right so now let's go ahead and let's try to see one important thing there is also two joints which we call the natural and cross joint now what is cross joint first of all we'll discuss about cross joint now here suppose if i say select the same thing i will write And there I don't even have to write the conditions. You see this. Okay. I'm saying select student dot first name, last name, age, department, this, this from student, right join, department. Instead of writing right join, I will say first I will take up cross join. See this. If I write cross join, department, that's it. Now cross join actually gives all the possibilities by combining all the records. It may be like first row to the first row of the department then first row of the ta uh, of the student table to the second row of department so if i go and see this outcome here you can see that all the possible options all the possible combination krish can be put up in mechanical electronics computer science ram can be put up in mechanical electronics and computer science all the possible combination that is basically possible by cross join and now this will be an assignment to you guys the natural join so if I try to now write this entire thing in the form of natural join, just see the output and just comment down in the comment section what do I mean by this, okay? So natural join. So once I execute it, okay? Now tell me what exactly is happening with the help of natural join. I've just got this three records, okay? This will be an assignment. Please make sure that you comment down in the comment section. Now, what are the kind of interview questions that may come? What is the difference between an SQL inner join and SQL left join? What is the difference between left join, full join? Write a query that will join these two tables so that all the rows from table one are in the results. So like this, they'll just mix up the statement and they'll try to confuse you. Now, one very important interview question is that, how do you combine or how do you retrieve data by using joins from more than two tables? Okay. Just think over it because in the next video, I'm going to make a video of this as an interview question because this was asked to one of my students, right? So based on that, I will definitely uh, make a video probably in the next one, right? So I hope you like this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.